will take it. Looking upfield for a City player. Harvey plays it long and it has gone straight out of play. Harry Burns is never going to get to that one. Throwing is taken and played across the uh, gospel box to the centre back. Centre back goes back to the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is put under pressure by Smalley and Emmett. Emmett puts the player under pressure and is played inside to Dale Grubby on the left hand side. He intercepts, goes inside to Smalley. Hanks now has it in the box. He shoots and yes, it's a goal for City. There. And Joe Hanks scores once again for the Tigers. And that is Gloucester City 1, Gosport 0, Matt. Beautiful. Almost a bit against the run of play, really. I think that's probably the, one of the first touches Joe Hanks has had of the ball this uh, this game. But he's doing what he's done all season. He's put another goal away and given us the lead. Come on, Tigers. Yeah, um, as we were saying, City not doing the pressing that they usually do. Mark McGregor ordered Harry Emmett to go and pressure the right back. The right back panicked, looked to play it inside, and uh, Dale Grubb intercepted it. Looked like if he wasn't going to get to that, they might have had a chance to break, break on break the, the uh, halfway line. He's Very doing his normal high work rate. Dawson, the captain, yeah. leading by example. Well, the right back's pocket has been picked by Harry Burns. Burns plays Smalley through on the edge. Smalley puts it across the grab. Grab shoots, yes. and that is 2 0 for Gloucester City. And Dale Grubb has got his first goal for the club. Get Once in again, there. was City. that harassment by Burns over there? Yeah. Just harassing the defender till he lost control of it, rolled it into the centre. It was square to Grubb. And he had no problems finishing that off. 2-0 the Tigers. Yes, it was uh, Burns who picked the pocket of the left back. And uh, we've first just seen a little bit of pressure from Gosport when City have got the ball. And it's causing them a few issues. Well, the first half did start of this, didn't it? We were commenting how kind of the nicest football against the Gloucester City we've seen this year. It was the first 20 minutes of this game from Gosport. And they look like they're starting this second half in the same manner. Lovely ball through to the number eight of Gosport. He cuts inside. Richards Everton shoots. Yeah! That's a goal for Gosport. And they've got one back here at Privet Park. And it is Ashley Yearwood who got in behind the City defence. He cut past two of the City defenders. And tucked it past Nathan Harvey in the goal. They were the masters of their own downfall there. They never really recovered from that sloppy butt pass by Dale Grubb. They never got it back into the Gosport half, it came back again, another sloppy pass, a missed tackle, and we've got one, one Gosport, one Gloucester City, two. There's a lot of space out on this left hand side for Gosport to run into. One minute left of normal times, played into the number 10. Funny end, plays inside 2 7, Bradley Tarbuck on the edge of the centre circle. Inside to Alfie Stanley, Tarbuck then gets it back off him. Yearwood now has it, with his back to goal, plays it back to the centre back. Dawson left one in now here, yeah, Yearwood. Yeah, Thought you were starting to rap then, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't find words out of the The record was stuck. Yeah, they got the ball now on the left hand side, looks to skip past Walters, looks to put one across, and it's a goal for Gosport. It's the number nine, Dan Wooden, who scored it. And it felt like it was coming back. Yeah, it absolutely did. They invited the pressure on then. They had a chance to clear it out there for a throw in and they should have just put it out. The number 10, the Fanyan, has just got past them, crossed the ball. And I think it was uh, the number five that scored, was it on the back, back post? That uh, Joe Morrison? It was number nine, Dan Wooden, 